Welcome to our school room at Simply Knowledge Homeschool. Today is all about math manipulatives. There are so many options available, it can seem extremely overwhelming of which one you should purchase. So today I want to share with you my top must-have math manipulatives. Okay, number one is Unifix Cubes. These are the most versatile and they'll get you the biggest bang for your buck. They're great to use as counters, for patterns, place value, graphing, and much more. You can actually purchase a separate activity book or you can just look online and find tons of things to do with Unifix Cubes. Number two is a student clock. This is invaluable to have when teaching time. This one is the student clock, which is a smaller version of the full-size clock, which we love because it comes with a detachable stand on the back where it can stand up on the desk or it can lay flat and both of the hands move easily. Number three is fraction tiles. Fractions can be a tricky concept for students to understand unless they are able to visualize it. This set includes a storage tray and an activity book with lots of great ideas. This is one of Sweet Pea's favorite things to do, to drag out the fraction tiles and just practice. She absolutely loves it. Number four is base 10 blocks. We have quite a large set. As you can see, I keep it in a plastic storage box. It's the easiest way to store it because I bought my set off of eBay for a great price from a school who was selling quite a bit of their base 10 blocks. These are important to have because it teaches math number concepts so easily. And there are a great proportional representation of numbers. We have our ones, we have our tens, we have our hundreds, okay? We have our 500 cube. These are great. We use these quite frequently in our homeschool. Number five is geometric solids. These are the perfect manipulative to have while teaching geometry. I like the 3D version because a student can see all the sides. So it comes with an activity guide. But let me pull one of these out so you can see. I like how they're see-through. They can count the sides, see all of them. These are absolutely handy when teaching geometry. Number six is a bucket balance scale. I like this one because not only does it hold solids, but it also holds liquids, which is perfect for teaching weight and volume. Number seven is a money kit. You don't have to get one as large as this. You could have a smaller kit. I like this one because of the sturdy box it comes in to store it and the way that it's organized once you get inside. It comes with a great activity book with tons of worksheets and things that you can do with your kit. Lots of information, but as you can see, it's well organized. They're all separated. I love how it has the plastic sheet that goes over it to keep your money from getting um, spilled out or mixed up. So this is my favorite for a money manipulative. Number eight is flashcards. We have what we call fact class on a daily basis in our homeschool, and we use these every single day. Flashcards are a must when you're teaching facts. I like these because they have all the facts through 12. You can buy a smaller set that does not have those, but these are perfect since they have all of the facts through 12. And that is it for my top math manipulatives. If you would like to purchase these for yourself, then please visit my blog. I will have a list there for you. The link is below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.